Assalamualaikum everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. So, if you find yourself struggling to solve some of the most difficult questions in math, then this video is for you. A lot of times, it's not due to our lack of knowledge that we are unable to solve a question. It's due to an incorrect approach towards a question. We are just so focused only on what the question is asking for that we forget to pay attention to the details. So, here's a simple trick that will help you solve the most difficult questions in math. Step one: Start by the obvious, which is that you write down the formula or the equation that will help you calculate what you're asked to. For example, if you're asked to calculate the volume or area, write down the formula for that. If you're asked to calculate the length of an unknown side of a triangle, write down the formula for that. And then as it is with every equation and formula, there are multiple unknowns that go into them. For example, if you're calculating the volume, you might need to know the radius and the height depending on the shape. If it is a length, you might need to know another length or an angle, again, depending on the kind of situation that you're in. Step two, identify the missing piece of the puzzle. Once you have done all that, then read the question again, this time scanning for what you have. And here's the most important part. Look for the one thing that's missing or the one unknown that's stopping you from calculating what you're asked to. For example, if you're calculating the area or volume, you might have the radius, but not the height. Or if you're calculating the missing length of a triangle, you might have one length, but not the angle. Then comes step three, which is eyes on the price. Once you have narrowed it down then focus all your attention towards finding the missing piece of the puzzle and all the necessary information given in the question that will help you calculate that once done go back to step one plug in all the values and get the final answer and then you can show off your math skills in school i'm just kidding don't do that in fact here is what you can do you can share this video with your friends and classmates and also subscribe to the channel too if you want to see more videos like these i recently made a video for o level and igcse students about what to do after getting their results so if you want to check it out, then click here. Or if you have any query in a positive question and want me to solve that question for you, then this video is a step-by-step -step guide on how you can share your query with me. So that's it for this one, fellas. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.